What's up guys? It's your girl Riva and I'm back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Riva. It's very nice to meet you. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. And as I always say, make sure you guys leave your comments in the comment section down below. It does not matter how you feel about this video. We all want to talk about it. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, Follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. Oh, when you're 18, you become an adult when you leave my covering. And until then, you're going to do what the fuck I said. It's as clear as that. I don't care about your feelings. I don't care about whether or not you want to be a fairy. I don't care what you want to do. This is not based off of what you desire. It's based off of what I said. And this is the thing that I have to lean back into because I like to be a nice guy. I like to be a benevolent dictator. But nevertheless, I am a dictator and my house is going to go exactly how it is that I dictate it go. If you decide that you want to do your own thing, which chances are you don't want that life. I, psh, she knows. My daughter knows she don't want that life. But let's be clear. It's going to go how I say when I say go. When I say jump, don't even say how high. Just start jumping. That's how it go in my, in my dictatorship. We don't play no games. I didn't ask you how you felt. I told you to get your fucking room clean when I got home and I don't want you leaving out the house before it's clean. That's how it go from day one. My daughter get it. She don't play no game. She know who she know who the boss is. All of this arguing with women and stuff like that, trying to figure out what they feel and how they feel, we don't play that game. That's not how it go. It is what it is, and we're gonna put we gonna put it down exactly like that. And if you decide that you wanna go outside of my covering and you wanna go out here, you cut off. It's as simple as that. I'm not playing no games. Either you're gonna do this the way that I say it, or you ain't doing it at all. You I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I, first of all, I don't think there's absolutely anything wrong with that. As a parent, um, you know, you have children, you raise your children, you're providing for them, you're putting a roof over their head, you're putting food in their stomach, all of these things. Um, and if you don't have any responsibility, right, to pay your rent, to do these, to do all these things, yeah, you have to abide by the rules. That's that's literally teaching your children, but especially your daughters, right? Your your sons as well. It's, all children need to know, you know, there's rules, right? Because if you're not following the rules at home, you're not following the rules at school, you're obviously not going to abide by laws and you're going to end up in trouble as a man. But as a woman, it, it's teaching you um, to be under the regime of a man as you should be, Right raising your women, your daughters to, to be, you know, women who are going to end up being wives one day. It's very, very, very important. And yeah, if you decide that you want to do things your own way, if you decide that you don't like the way that I'm doing things or whatever. Yeah. And one thing that he said, you know, you know, she knows who wear the, who wears the pants. She knows who's, and the reason why that statement alone is so important is because you know you have a lot of women who will say you know go ask your dad or go talk to your father about that or go this it's because they don't want to, they don't want to deal with the conflict they don't want to deal with the confrontation go ask the person who you know for a fact is going to give you a straight up answer with no chaser you know because you know women we're we tend to be more nurturing more caring more like you know we feel a lot we want to be like more understanding and all these things yeah go ask your dad because you know he's going to tell you absolutely not so go ask him. Don't even come. Go 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 ask him. Go deal with him with that. And it's something that's so necessary within our homes. It's something that's very necessary. I'm until you get married. I'm your covering. I'm your protection. I'm your daddy. And until you get married to somebody else, yeah. I run this here. It ain't about what you think. It's about what it is. Yeah. I hope the young bloods in the chat and, the, and even some of these older men paid attention to that last line about. The father be in the covering until she is married. What if she just moves out and like has you know a career and just is living somewhere? That uh, I think that 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 question you know if she just moves out or whatever. I mean, still if something goes wrong, who's she gonna call to come to assist her, or help her, or save her if she's in a situation? She's she's gonna call her dad, as she should. Are you cutting her off? You're no longer talking to her? Yeah, if she's not doing what you yeah, want? I think he does have said enough already. No, yeah, no, no, no. I, I don't understand. understand. Like, he don't care. Yeah. Like, <laughs> his relationship with his daughter is not I thought that 
I thought the I thought Martin I was misunderstanding. Say is more important than the relationship. He said it three times. But yeah. I thought he was saying only when she was like no, he in said the what house. He, said what he, he said. just said that. He said he said said even out of the house. He said what he, he said. Hey, that's what he just said. <laughs> I guess I'm just having board. a hard time believing it. Well, you have to believe it, man. There are people out here that think all different things. You can't make them. You can't make them say anything whatever. else. I'm making them. I was just making sure that I understood. Everybody else understood. Yeah, okay, so not. I'm not everybody else. Okay. Okay. No What's problem. going on, Jedi? Uh, you on mute, so you know, brother. Hey, Hi, Jedi. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Teddy Riley? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't put it I in the front. You added Teddy Riley to the end of your <laughs> name. Yeah, not today. Not today. Um, I wish there was more clarification on that question that Kate just asked. I mean, he did just say, literally, she's not under his roof, then, you know, she's cut off. But there must be reasons as to why. He, there, there's obviously a part of the conversation that we must be missing. Um, I, I don't know if it's just because he has standards of qualification that, no, you're not going to move out. You're going to go to school. You're going to do this. You're going to do that until, you know, you're of a certain mentality, whatever. But a woman who is going to move out of her home from underneath her dad's regime, from underneath her dad's and her from her both of her parents, you know, protection and all that and assistance and all that kind of stuff is going to be or supposed to be uh, very well prepared for life and you know being there and handling her own situations as well. But not today, okay, okay, yeah, okay. That was that other show, okay. No, no, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, first of all, I just want to give my props uh, for that. I have happy Thanksgiving to y'all and stuff, but. On the topic, what you were saying, um, well, Anton, I know you kind of got derailed talking about uh, him prioritizing his daughter and having kind of full control. My question to you is how, how like, because the thing that I'm seeing from him is structure, right? So when you remove that structure, which unfortunately in our community, we basically have lacked a little no structure. My question to you is how is that working for us? To people who disagree with terms of Anton's perspective. How's that working out for us? Um, I don't disagree with having structure at all. So neither do I. Maybe that's I don't I don't know a whole lot of people like this, so I can't. Um, well, I mean, you just okay. Well, I mean, I'm just saying because obviously, if you weren't, you know, disagreeing with the structure, you wouldn't be reacting the way you guys just did. No, were you listening? We didn't. We didn't have any problem with, with that the structure. No. The, no, no problem with the structure. He, he's the, he's the, it, whoever's paying the bill gets to make the decisions. Yeah. I just don't think that's the the best way to go about it because I value, I value my family, and even if they don't make the choices that I want them to make, I will never trade the relationship with my families for anything for anything with my child. But this is also again, you can say that you think things differently or you feel things differently, um, but it's because we're women. Right. You have women that like their child can go out there and literally do the utmost thing, like the most gruesome or whatever it is. And that mother will sit there and baby them and take them back in and, you know, assist them and do all of these things. And that that father is like, absolutely not. You made these decisions. You need to face your consequences. And that's just it. Bottom line, I'm not going to baby you. I'm not going to coddle you because a lot of times that makes the situation far worse. Way, 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 way worse. When you sit there and you coddle somebody and, you know, especially within their wrongdoings. My parents with me, my, me and my dad had a lot of disagreements growing up about what I should do with my life. But my dad didn't say he's not going to be in my life because I didn't do the career that he wanted me to do, you know what I'm saying? He loves me and That's we moved said. on with our lives. Like everybody did it. So we just I just re-asked the question and everyone told me that everyone understood. Um, Jedi, I think me and you might be on the same page in terms of this misunderstanding. Because you said that's not what he said. That is what he I, said. <laughs> I asked that just now if that was what he said, that he would be out of her life. Even if he was an adult. So, Jedi, I think yeah, he's been cut off all communication, period. Well, the point I'm coming from is that what I see is terms of discipline and, like, uh, having a um, – I'm sorry. Am, am, am I good? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm at my parents' house. Um, but my thing what I'm trying to say is that – Me too. 
Yeah, yeah. I was just saying that the, the structure in terms of how discipline might be is, is that, okay, well, because you're not going the way that I've lined you to, like, for example, like, there's no scripture saying, you know, you raise a child up in the ways of the Lord, he would not depart. I think that still thing applies to terms of, okay, well, in terms of discipline, order, structure, values, instead of especially education. Now, uh, in terms of, you know, there might be a generational curse in terms of a lack of consistency, lack of ambition in terms of our community, then that comes to a point where, you know, we got to put our foot down saying no longer we're going to go do with these middle school or lackluster uh, degrees or so that's not actually benefiting the community. I'm not saying that there's certain things that obviously, uh, you know, that might actually, you know, badge the culture, whatever you want to say, but there are things that, okay, listen, we want to try to, you know, bridge this generational gap that we've had statistically that's been proven, and we just got to say, you know what, I don't care about your feelings anymore. We got to get straight to the point and actually, you know, change, uh, change the direction of our legacy to a point of actually high valueness of in terms of what we can provide to the overall society. And- I don't think there's anything wrong with that because other cultures do it all the time. You know, they require their children to follow this need, follow this niche, and nobody has a problem with it. They gr- they literally grow their kids from a young age and tell them, like, you're going to be a part of this business. You're going to take care of the family business. You need to focus in school. You need to get good grades. You need to do this. And they're, they literally set their lives out for them. Now, I understand that every family is going to be different, but I don't see anything wrong if, you know, with that structure being set out for you. Because some a, a lot of people, children, children need direction. They need direction, especially in this, you know, era that we're in right now. Children need that guidance and direction. They need to say, okay, no, no, no. You need to focus on this. You need to focus on school. You need to get good grades. You need to focus on this. You know, you're going to have some families that say, okay, look, if you, I feel like you're really, really good at this. So we're going to gear you in this direction. There's nothing wrong with that. Overall society, the way that you can highly contribute, statistically proven, is in the STEM fields that we were just talking about. Right now, I was going to ask for you the, the career that she was talking about that's not. What careers were you speaking about that we spoke about tonight, tonight that are not beneficial to the community? That's what I was going to ask. We spoke about social work. We definitely need more social workers, especially in the black community. We, we spoke about, people. what else did we speak about? I spoke yes, Rilla just said something. I don't know if you guys heard it. He said, what we need is more fathers in the home. And that's a fact. That is essential. Essential. That's better than a book, better than this, better than social work, better than all of these things. We need to get the family units back together and we need the fathers in the home. That's that's a hundred. About being in the orchestra, there's black people are very unrepresented in classical music. We definitely need more in there. So what what careers did we speak about that are not been in a- she said the orchestra. I understand what she's trying to say about the orchestra. You know, it's, it's leading, uh, you know, kids into that narrative. Of, I mean, I'm sorry, into that lifestyle. Like, you know, you see other people who are like great, you know, violinists, whatever it is, in orchestras. And then they have different career paths. I understand that. But is that something that is going to, uh, you know, strongly impact the black community? I'm not really sure about that. I don't, I don't, I'm not really too sure about that. I'm not sure if that's a, that's a need. I think there's there's a lot of other steps that we have to take before we can even go there. But I understand what she's saying about the representation. I completely get that because, you know, if you have children who see that and they realize that there's an avenue that they can get to, they will put their focus there and they will go there um, career-wise. So yeah, I understand what she was saying, but I think we have a far way to go before we can even talk about, like, stuff like that like there's so many other things that we need within our community so but let me know what you guys think about this i love these kind of conversations that are so in-depth um you know talking about real intricate things fathers the lack thereof children i love those kind of conversations so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below if you're not subscribed to this channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and again if you're not following me on instagram Follow my Instagram. It's at R-I-V-A-H underscore J-O-R-D-O-N. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.